what I would like to show you right now is um, something that I discovered relatively recently, and it pertains to flying with ForeFlight on your iPad. So as long as your iPad uh, is in your cockpit running ForeFlight uh, during flights, there's a whole bunch of really interesting information that is being recorded in the background by ForeFlight. That information presents itself right here on the ForeFlight website once uh, your flight is completed. So, you know, you've landed, you're home, come in here and take a look specifically right here. So log in to your ForeFlight uh, uh, account by going to ForeFlight.com and then clicking the login button. Uh, I'm already pre-logged in, so I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my track log here on the left-hand side. So this will show me some of my more recent flights um, uh, here in the Bay Area. Uh, and in this case, the flight that I'm interested in is the Half Moon Bay to Concord flight. This is our return flight on a weekend. Um, we went down to uh, do a quick Bay tour, uh, flew over San Francisco, Alcatraz, Golden Gate Bridge, and then went down to Half Moon Bay for a quick lunch before heading back. So one of the first things that I can do right here is click this view button. Okay, so I'm gonna click the view button and it's gonna show me the track over ground um, based on the four flight recorded information. Okay, this information by the way is three dimensional. So it doesn't just represent the line to you of my track across the ground. There's information here in regards to my altitude. Well, in regards to my altitude. The information itself is contained in these files. KML filtered, full, GPX and comma delimited. I'm not really interested in comma delimited right now, nor GPX. Uh, what I want to show you is the KML full file and what it can actually do for you when it comes to reviewing your flight information. I have to be honest with you, the coolness factor is totally off the charts. So what I've done basically, and I can do it here when I look at the map, I can download my KML file, or when I go back to my track log, I can also dial download the KML file right here as well. Okay, so download the file, whether you're using it on Explorer, Chrome, Firefox, you should know where your downloads go, your downloads folder, or you can, if you can, save as, uh, uh, save that file as uh, down to the desktop, my documents, as long as you're able to find the file itself. So, with the file downloaded, uh, the next thing you can do is you can go ahead and open Google Earth, okay? If you don't know uh, what Google Earth is, or if you don't have it, just Google Google Earth, as funny as that may sound, that'll be a nice, quick, free download. Once Google Earth loads up, one of the things you can do at this point is go to File and open that KML file that you just downloaded from um, uh, from, from the ForeFlight website. Well, in this case, this is the file that I've downloaded in prepping for this video, so I'm just going to go ahead and double click on this file and open it. So the first thing that's really cool, obviously, is that Google Earth will zoom in again, on my track across the ground of my return flight from Half Moon Bay over to Concord. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but one of the cool things about this, as long as you download that KML full file, is you can literally replay that file in three dimensions as an overflight, as a track, in Google Earth. And it'll literally recreate your file at the correct altitude from takeoff to landing. And here's how you do it. All you have to do is come in here, Deselect the, the initial file right here, highlight this file, the KHFKCCR, which is kind of like a little subfile with a little arrow there, and all you have to do at this point is click play. At this point, what the system is going to do is literally take you from takeoff over Half Moon Bay, over the water, down Ocean Beach, over the Golden Gate Bridge, uh, toward the downtown with a departure toward Concord after that. So what I'm going to do at this point is just Remove this little pin on the left-hand side. Uh, show you the flight from Half Moon Bay to Concord. It should take you about two minutes. And then I'll end the video. But anyways, hopefully this is something that you haven't done in the past and uh, are able to do with your flights, whether it's in Europe or, or uh, here in the States and or anywhere else in the world. And uh, dump it out on YouTube and just kind of show it within the uh, flight community. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, and uh, looking forward to uh, your comments at the bottom of the uh, video. Thanks.